Hello, welcome to part 13, and I'm just going to explain myself here. We've kind of skipped on around about 30 seconds, because it was me riding on the mongoose for about another 20 seconds, and then the start of this cutscene. Pretty much, we've just entered the underground, and we're going off to find Dare. That's all you need to know. Who's on sub-level 9, two floors below us, so off we go. Mm-hmm. Um, we're currently playing as Buck, aren't we? And can I just explain... At the moment I recorded this, I hadn't actually played ODST in a while. That, w that was why I was kind of looking around, kind of going, where the hell am I supposed to be going and stuff, and trying to figure out how to... a large base on your radar. I know, I was trying to also figure out how to turn my... Um, um, turn my... Shotguns lying around. Jesus. There's a what, what, what? Oh shotguns yeah, that's what, I, that's what I thought. I mean, why is there so many shotguns on this? But you know. Oh well. This at the start of this part really there's not much to do. There's a few enemies. We're just walking. But yeah. So yes, this is the second to last level. This is the I'd say this is the longest level in the game. This actually goes over a couple of parts. Oh my god. Possibly Holy possibly crap. three, I don't know. <gasps> oh no! Still. Still. <laughs> the entire LP is only 18 parts long. Yeah. Yeah. But you know. Yeah, if you didn't know, it's exactly 18 parts long, not including credits. Oh, by the way, Chris, I've had a few problems recording the credits. <laughs> I kind of played through it all on Legendary, because I didn't know whether it did or not, but um, sometimes on Legendary, it kind of changes the end cutscene, so I would have upload that, uploaded that as well um, as the credits. However, um, I kind of did something stupid and I accidentally skipped the credits. So I well, played, and I did it on Legendary, which I found very hard, and it took me around about an hour. And it did me oh. an hour, and then I kind of went, skip cutscene, oh crap, I just skipped the credits. <laughs> well, that was silly of you. I know, it ruined everything. Now, why is this section completely devoid of any music? It's trying to keep up tension and stuff. Yeah, it, it just comes across to me as a little bit bland. Yeah, music will start at some point. It's just a bit plinky plonky computer noises at the moment. Yeah, but when you when you're playing through it, like actually you're playing it, it start it gets quite interesting. Really, it's kind of like oh god, it's creepy. Oh my god, it's all quiet. That means something is definitely gonna happen. And to us, nothing anything really does. <laughs> Oh. Oh, blammo. Oh, I'll, 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 I'll about to ask why you threw the plasma grenade on the floor like that, but now I see your reason. To blow up the fusion coil. To injure him. I, did, I could have thrown it a bit better and all, but you know. Well, hey, you got the job done. Do it virtual now! Yeah. Construction ahead. Expect delays. I'm gonna die, you hear me? Bill. Uh, I don't know. This guy, Virgil's gonna die? What? What the hell are you on about? Oh, I get it. No, no. Um, you'll see in a bit. Okay. Fair enough. It's pretty much this bloke, this arrowed bloke, is trying to talk to the computer, trying to open up this gate. And he's all like, <laughs> I'm afraid I can't open this. And he's all like, gah, 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 gah. And here I found a cup, and I was all like, oh my god, a cup. Actually, no, that's on the next part. Oh, okay. This is the really weird part that I told you about where I just decided to melee this guy constantly, non-stop. Okay, fair enough. You're allowed. Yeah. Because nothing's actually happening if you haven't, no if you haven't noticed. He doesn't die and he doesn't turn against you. Nope. Oh, the only, the only time they actually turn against you... Oh, turn to a machine gun, by the way, at this moment. Ah, oh, because... Can... There we go. Drones? You're yeah. trying to get me killed? Warning, hitchhikers may be escaped from... Virgil the computer. Oh, you just missed a good line. Warning, it's hitchhikers... <laughs> Warning, hitchhikers may be escaping convicts. <laughs> hey! He says it for no apparent reason. And anyone that plays okay. Halo 3 would probably know that, um... At some point... Um, hard to explain really, but, um, in the... In the when you press start and it goes into the settings thing for a while it had like a warning saying don't give your password away to anyone kind of thing but it started with warning hitchhikers may be escaping convicts 
and um, friends maybe something etc. So don't give your password away and stuff. And if I want it. Okie dokie. Sorry if there was just some, uh, some oh. microphone then. But yeah. Now, this whole sub-level facility thing gives me a really big Metroid Prime vibe. What are you doing? Fair enough. I did something really stupid here. This is a shortcut the, that you no can take me. at the start of this bit, at the start of this tunnel. But I kind of decided, oh, I'll go this way, and then I realized, oh, I'm all the way here. There's plenty of shotguns, and, I, and, I, and those like corridors just then reminded me a hell of a lot of the final sub, uh, final main scenario of Resident Evil Umbrella Chronicles. Yeah. Sort of white and squeaky clean. White and squeaky clean. Well, actually, it's silver, but you know, who cares? It doesn't make any difference. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why the abuse? I don't know, I just like to scream. Oh. Sometimes oh. sometimes they, they wonder who it is. They're kind of like, who's that? And they kind of like, they reload the gun and stuff and like, look around for ages. Uh, I just don't think that you could maybe it's the mu maybe it's the lack of music. Maybe that's where. Well, then maybe that's why I um, started to attack people. Nicely done. Okay. I don't know. I was wondering what he was shooting at then, but he was shooting at corpses because that's what marines do. <laughs> Fair enough. So. I miss Indeed. Brunt Happy Birthday. Well, I miss the confetti anyway. I don't miss the... Yeah! Yeah, I don't miss that. Me neither. Pew, 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 magnum, smash. Yeah. I don't know whether you've noticed, but on other games, mag... I mean, uh, this isn't a magnum, the pistol that I got, but, um... On all other games, magnums look a hell of a lot different. And, um... And a hell of a lot more powerful as well. Yeah. On any other game. But in comparison to Halo, they're not very good really, but you know. Well, that's because Halo has the power of space weaponry. Yeah. But I mean, compared to the other, like, assault rifles and stuff, which seem pretty kind of normal and ordinary. Is that all of them? One thing that's a shame on this, um, on ODST also, no battle rifle. Lots of people don't like the battle rifle, but if you know how to use it and use it well, it's I, I do like it very much so. Yeah. And especially if you know how to use it well. It's Indeed. Fun. This is where the cup was. And I was all like, oh my god, a cup. I I could use some backup. Wait, there it is. Yeah. A little bit too well, well focused shots to the head with the battle rifle all pretty much Go ahead, kill someone. Raise the stack. Are you dwindling on the old Magnum ammo? I uh, no. I think I changed it for a shotgun. I finally decided to... Oh, bloody unwashed jazzy. Um, <laughs> I finally decided to pick, to pick one up. And I'm all like, oh, I may as well use one of these 12 shotguns. There are a lot more than that. Jesus, man. <laughs> oh, oh, no. What happened to Computer Talking Man? Does it have a name? What? The computer? No, no, oh, no, the, the guy talking to the computer. The police person, the guy that... The policeman. Yeah. Uh, no, he's just policeman. Alright, let's call him number two. Steve number two it is. But yeah. But by the way, um, I don't know if anybody's noticed, but if I'm... If, if when I'm kind of playing, I'm really jittery and move around a lot, and it's hard to kind of set focus on one certain place, that's just the way I play. I kind of quick sharp movements really. Which probably isn't a good idea for a let's play and everything, because it's probably hard to look at. But yeah no. Stop complaining. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Not that anyone is complaining. Come on. Yeah, this isn't a very nice bit. Just loads and loads of roots. Kind of annoying. Oh dear. Right? Pretty much used up all the grenades. I know, but these people drop quite a you lot. You have to do some gorilla shotgun tactics. I'd be on, wait for a group to walk up, turn around, shotgun, smack. That's the plan. Indeed. I think that's the plan for- oh no, wait, this guy's just carbine. I mean, I lost him then. Where'd he go? 
He's surprisingly easy for a kind of a gunnery sergeant chieftain. Oh, and this place, this is where the last audio file is. Be quiet. Really quiet. You hear that? No. That's, um, well, you will in the normal video. But, um, that is the audio file. That's the last audio file. Um, but because I don't have the 29th, I don't get the 30th, which is in there. And we're going to end it there, right after I get my wonderful flamethrower. Yay, tasty.